Right. Okay. Hit workout. I do apologise if you can hear my family in the background. Yeah. Let's in the kitchen. Okay. Right. So, if we start by, if we start by stretching. Do the snakes. Then we're going to take it back in the child's pose. Hopefully that's okay with the camera. I think it is. Then we're going to take it forward again, back in the space. And take it back into child's pose. Okay, the next one we're going to do is cat. So you're going to lift the back and you're going to drop the head. And we're going to do the cow. So you're going to push the belly button down, lift the head up. Then we get into the cat, swing left the back and drop the head. And then we're going to push the belly button down and lift the head up. Here they're in the kitchen. So you can. Alright, so next thing we're going to do, we're going to do the stretch. So, on the floor, you're going to bend one leg, and then you're going to use, so you're going to bend the right leg, start with bending, you're going to push away the right hand. Switch over, so you're doing the same on the left, so left leg bent, left hand pushing it away. I think if we spend a little bit longer on the right as well, because I think I spent double the amount of time on the left. Perfect, right, if we come to standing. Okay, so we're going to start by rolling the shoulders backwards. We're going to do 10 of these. And we're going to take it forward. Perfect, and we're going to do this. So, one at a time, bring it back. forward. Don't be alarmed if you can hear clicks and crunches. I do. And you can take the arms across the body, alternating, so one on top, then the other one on top. And we're going to do this one. So you're going to have the arms out in front of you, and you're going to bring the back so you can feel that stretch between your shoulder blades. So we did 10 of those, two. Perfect. Right, and what we're going to do, we're going to turn the head side to side. We're going to get back to neutral. We're going to take the head up and down. Then we're going to 
and tilt the head side to side. Might feel like sandpaper is running through. Not sandpaper. Uh, sand in the timer. Might feel that kind of sound. I think of it like ice crispy snap crackle and pop. And we do this one. Think we want to take the head side to side. So you just want to go ear to ear. You don't want to. You don't want to go the whole way around. Just one way to the other. Just like this. It's like fist sticks. It's like popping candy in the head. That sensation for me. Right, then you're going to the hands together. Push it back into the hands. And you can take it forward. So you're going to push the head into the hands. Okay, that's when you're going to do. You're going to turn the head to the side, 90 degrees. And you're going to bring this here down so you can feel the stretch down the side of your neck. And we're going to do the other side. So that's it. You're going to turn the head to 90 degrees. Imagine you're like a fish hook on your ear, so it's bringing it down so you feel the stretch from your shoulder. Pull that for your neck. Brilliant. The next one you're going to do, so you get your hand, you're going to stretch your hand about this way, turn it on one side, make it clear. You do that, man. And we can do it this way around. And then it won't. And what you're going to do, you're going to turn the hands out, just turn circles, turn ten of these. Dead boy. And again, this one you can turn the hands over and back. Brilliant. Right, let's get cracking. Oh, literally. <laughs> Amazing. Right. So, you can set the timer. So, we're going to do six rounds of 30 seconds. We're going to do a 10 second rest. Right, anyway, grab a plan. Try not to refer to a plan too much. Right, so let's start. It's loud. And we're going to start with high knees. There you go. You lift any legs up. You want your hands out. You just want to bring your knees up to your hands. Put that on the side, see how long we've got left. Five seconds. Just to get into the next position. So the next one we're going to do is press ups. So you can either do press ups on your knees or you can do them on your toes. There you go. If you chose to do them on your knees, try and bring your nose down to the floor each time. Okay, and you keep going. Okay, 
jumping off. Get into the next one. So I'm going to do a jumping lunge. Put that there. So if you jump and lunge, you go for one leg to the other. So I'm going to get away down there. No, put it this way. So you want to make sure your knee isn't going over your toes. And you want to make sure that your knee isn't rolling in. Right. Next one is dips. So at this point, I'll quickly pause this just in case you need to get a chair or a sofa. Whew. Yeah, it's already right. So, if need be, grab a sofa, grab a chair. I'm going to quickly crack open the window. Hopefully that won't affect the noise too much with the wind. Right, and go. Right, so we're going to do 30 seconds. So you can either do it with your knees bent, like this, or you can do it with your legs out straight, like this. Legs out straight is harder. 15 seconds, of, sorry, 30 seconds of this, but we've got 10 seconds left. Five seconds to go. And rest. Brilliant. We'll cheat sheet again. Then we're going to do burpees. So if you burpee, you're going to go down, and back up, followed by a jump. Okay. Oh, that's the point. If you want to make it harder, go into your burpee position, put some press up, back up, and then jump. Three seconds left. Squeeze as many as you can in. Okay. Next one. Is in and out abs. I'm gonna pause this for one second just to explain it. Move the yoga out a bit more this way. Right. Huh. Alright, so for this one, it's like I'm being in the press up position. But what you're gonna do, you're gonna jump your legs in and jump them out. Just like that. Right, we do 30 seconds of that one. There you go. Twenty seconds to go. Give it a minute to recover. Whew. Hope you can feel your heart racing a little bit more. Wow. Okay. So so we'll give it another forty five seconds. Set up. Another twenty more seconds rest. To it. Right, so just trying to think. 
Uh, okay. So I said two rounds, let's do three rounds. We do three rounds. So if we do three rounds and we do the stretching as well, that will make it half an hour. All right, we'll make it half an hour. So each, so each round we're doing each time is four minutes, which isn't really that long to be honest if you think about it. So yeah, we'll do three lots of that. Then we've got the stretching at the start, the stretching at the beginning. It's just about, it's about 30 to 40 minutes. It's good. It's good, it's a good burner. Right. Okay, less waffle. We'll get on with it. Okay, right. Up. You go straight into high knees. There you go. So, lift them as hard as you can, as fast as you can. Five seconds left. Really pushing. Four seconds left. And rest. Pardon me. Right, and we'll do press ups. And go. Set up on your toes, on your knees. Okay, rest. Right. Now we're going to do jumping lunges. So come into a standing position. There you go. So lunge and switch. Nice explosive action as you go from one to the other. Ha. Keep going. And rest. Right, next one is dips. Okay, so I pause it again. Grab the sofa, grab a chair, grab something that you can hold on to and dip between. So you can either have the legs bent or the legs straight. Legs straight is harder. But yeah, let's go for it. And go. So 30 seconds. Taking your glutes as low as you can, your backside that is. Great one for the triceps. Five seconds to go. Good. Right. Straight up. Could be in the army. <laughs> right, burpees. So, down. Then up. And jump. <laughs> and if you do this one, you can either do that one or this one. Two, one, and rest. Whew. Right, and then I catch my breath. And move the yoga mat up as well. We can do in and out abs, in and out abs. Right, there, go. Turn my feet in and out. Thirty seconds. Got a minute and a half rest after this. Oh. 
and rest. Right. This is my second hit session of the day. I did do, I did do three rounds of a hit session this morning. So, I am feeling it a little bit today. Whew. This is good. And normally the clients push the face. They normally do an exercise I'm normally correcting the form. And most of my exercises are normally spent outdoors running, which is a bit tricky at the moment. But the coronavirus, unfortunately. But hey, I'm sweating. I don't know if you are, but I'm feeling it. Right, give me another minute. Wow. Maybe exercising in a black t-shirt isn't the best one. Right? Oh, okay. So yeah, that's just bad of me. Make sure you keep good form, make sure you keep the balance nice straight. Alright, keep it going. Dripping. That's why I've got the yoga mat down here. So that, that drench the carpet. Right. 30 seconds to go. Of rest. Okay, another 10 seconds. So you get yourself to your feet. We start with high knees. Okay, and right, stop the clock. There you go, extra five seconds rest. It's not bad, is it? It's a bit of a result. Okay, next one to lift my knees. Last round. Last round, six exercises. 30 seconds, 10 seconds interval between each exercise. Right, that's 16 seconds to go. Really drive your knees. So touch your hands, keep the hands where they are. Drive the knees. You call them high knees for a reason. Like they call high knees, they call them high knees for a reason. Right, next one. Press ups. Quick, quick, strand position. There you go. 30 seconds of these. Make sure you breathe. 20 seconds to go. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Air rest, brilliant, whoops, not the uh, jumping lunges, and go, 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 right, one leg, and the other, jumping in between, try not to get straight on the phone, that might sound incredibly grim, I like swimming. Right, keep going. Four, three, two, one. Rest. Right. Next one, dips. Grab that sofa, grab that chair. And go, 30 seconds. Switch my hands a little bit. 20 seconds to go. Keep pushing. Keep driving those. Keep driving yourself up. So come down, drive yourself up. Keep going. Five seconds to go. And rest. Okay. What's next? Quick pause, I think. Burpees. Everyone loves a burpee. Right. Ready? There you go. Twenty 
25 seconds to go. Ten seconds. Rest. Right, last one. Last one, last 30 seconds. Let's drive at home. There you go. In that arms. In. seconds. Wow. Ten seconds to go. And rest. Whew. I'm dripping a bit. And rest. Amazing. Great job. Right. Let's finish my stretching. So, I'm going to turn the phone off now. Place it on side. Wow. If you want to grab a drink, grab a drink at this point. You haven't got a lot long left, you've got about maybe five minutes of stretching. Right, okay, give you a few more seconds. Let's grab a drink. That's a good feeling. Okay, right, and let's stretch. So, you start with the sphinx stretch, pacing yourself up like this. In your arms. Oh, that's a 30 seconds. Not 30 seconds. 15. Oh, wow. Let's take it back. In. Two. Charles Pies. Then we'll take it into Sphinx again. Step forward. Then we'll take it back. In the chance pose again. It's so important to stretch the back off. That's so important to stretch everything off. Yeah, and we'll do this one, big cat. So you're gonna lift the back, and you're gonna drop the head. And then you're gonna push the body back down, and you're gonna lift the head up. Just straight, dropping off. And we're gonna do the cat one again. So you're gonna lift the back and drop the head. Checking the camera's still recording. And then we're going to push the belly button down, lift head up. And you're going to lift the back and drop the head. And we're going to push the belly button down, lift head up. And then, this one we push my leg away. I'm just finger on myself there, just think you're right. So, at the end of this, if you've got any detail, or you've got any anti back, anti bacterial. So, once again, right leg, right leg bent, push away the right hand. Hold that for 30 seconds. Yeah, at the end of this, make sure you wipe down your mat with detail, detail spray or antibacterial wipes or hand sanitizer spray anything that's going to take away the germs 
I know you're only using your mat at the end of the day, but still at the end of the day, it's better to be safe than sorry. And uh, uh, these mats here, I clean them every single time. And then we'll do the other leg. Yeah. I'll just give mine a wipe when I get home. After every single client I have, it's always worth wiping them down. Right, and then, oh wow, sweating bits. It's great though. Right, process working. Right, if we did the Sphinx one again. Now we take it back in the child's pose. So sinking into this stretch. Back in the snakes. Oh, foot cramped a little bit then. Ah. Making sure, uh, actually, I was, ideally, you want to make sure you're looking down at the floor so you're keeping a nice, a nice straight spine. Yeah. You want your head to be nice and straight as well. Now take it back in the child's pose. Right. So, going from here, and you're leaning back into it. Ah, you're sitting back into it, actually. Right. Next one you're gonna do is we're gonna do the cat again. Right. So all fours, you're gonna lift your back and drop your head. Then we're gonna do the cow, so you're gonna push the belly button down, lift the head up. Feel free to make sound effects if you want with the different animal yoga stretches. Might get a few looks, but Keeps it interesting. Now we do this one, we lift the back, drop the head. And then we'll push the belly button down, lift the head up. Perfect, and we'll come to standing. And yeah, I know my jokes are bad. I still try though. Right, next bit. We're going to come to standing and you're going to turn your head to one side. We're going to briefly hold that. Then we're going to do the other side. So turn the head. And we're going to bring the head down. And we're going to turn the head up. Head back to neutral again. You're gonna head, tilt the head to the side. And then the other side. You go back to neutral. And if you rotate the head to one side. And if you do it the other way. Back to neutral again, you're going to insult the hands. So you're then going to push your head back into the palm of your hands, palms of your hands. And 
And you can do this one, you can push the head into the hands. So, palms facing away for this one. And you're going to do this one, you're going to lift your shoulders, you're going to bring them back, and then you're going to drop them down, hold that position, you can hold that one. We can do it as well at the same time. You can, bring your, you can imagine, imagine you're, you're pushing your chin back. Imagine it's like a button on your, a button on your chin, and you're pushing it back. So your shoulders are back, and your head's back. That's good for posture. Good stretch on the traps as well, top of the shoulders. That's what we're going to do, tilt the head to 90 degrees, bring this here down, so you feel the stretch up there. And then we're going to do the other side, so you're going to tilt the head. So, yeah, you're going to turn the head to 90 degrees and then bring this here down, so you feel the stretch down the side. This position and turn the side against so you can turn down to so the hand, bring it back. Now make sure you're stretching your thumb off as well. So your thumbs off. So when you're doing it, you're not just stretching, you're not stretching your fingers, you're stretching your thumb as well. So you bring it all back. And we can do the other hand. And then you're going to do this one, so you bring the hand down that way, and then stretch it that way, nice and gently. Don't want to be too extreme with these stretches, you just want to be able to feel them. Nice bearable stretch, but you can feel the stretch. Then you do the other hand. Turn that way, just a few different angles. Perfect, I'll come back to the Middle. Okay, and then you're going to turn your hands out. We're going to do 10 of these. And then you do it on the other way. Right, and then you're going to turn the hands over. Right, we're going to stretch the legs. So you're going to Grab your heel. So your idea on that feel a stretch for your quads. And then we're gonna do the other leg. This might be my wobbly side. Right, next one we're going to do, stretch off the calves. So you find yourself a wall, you can use the sofa, you can use the wall to demonstrate. So you can place your foot up against the, against the object, as long as you're not going to mark it. You're just going to lean forward. the first time I couldn't really be seen. I don't know how much of a difference that makes. Yes, yeah, so you bring your leg up and you're leaning forward. So you should feel a stretch in your calves. Right, 
Another one for the car side eye, is you're going to place your hands against the wall. You have one leg forward, one leg back. You want to do one of your front leg, well, you want to have your front leg bent, your back leg straight. You want to make sure your toes are pointing forwards. You want to lean into it, so you want to feel a stretch in your calves. You might not, you might be able to fit in other places. As I've come to realise with my work over the years, people don't always feel the stretch where they should be feeling the stretch. Everyone's different in the bodies, everyone has different lines. Then you do the other leg. Perfect. Last, last stretch we're going to do. You're going to put your leg. I'll do it here. Um, put it on the side of the sofa. Hmm. Look how visible I've been. I have everything's been in the shot. Right. So you can place your leg up. Hmm. You're not as high as that. Right. If you place it up on an object like this, then you're going to lean forward. So you want to have a full stretch. In your hamstrings, to the back of the legs. Let me do that one. So you can place the leg up. Like me. This leg is straight. You don't want to force it straight. Just comfortably straight. And then you're going to lean forward over the leg. You should better feel a stretch in the back of the leg. Right. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a desk wipe. So, if you want to do the same, get yourself a clean cloth. Wash your hands as well. So if you give me one minute. Reach for your feet. Back, that's our wipes. Right, keep our hands hand sanitized the spray, that's, that's just as good. Right, so, oh, perfect. All right, Not too much. No, you better go wrong, can you? All right. There you have it. Amazing. Great job. Have a good day.